Hi, this is Deborah Sable Thornbrew, and I'm going to demonstrate how to take a test for our CSIT 125 Word class in SimNet. From Canvas, you would click into the SimNet page. Once you get to SimNet, this is the home page for our Word class. First, please be sure that you are in the correct class, CSIT 125 Microsoft Word for Business. If you're not in the right class, click over here on the far right hand side where it says select another class and you should be able to select the correct one. When you're ready, go to the gray box on the far right that says tests and click on that. Here you would see a gray box with a dark red top that says exam. Look for the name of the exam here. Look for the due date here. You will see in this video a couple of uh, pale looking ones down here. That's because these are the real test, the real test and the practice test, but they're not available yet. When they become available, they will become dark like this one. When you're ready to start the test, click anywhere on the test box. Here you should see a blue button that says take exam. When you're ready, click Take Exam. It might take a few moments for the test to load. You will then see the simulation screen and the beginning. If you see a message like this, Flash is required for this assignment, it's okay to click Get Flash. It could take several minutes for the test to load. When it's finished loading, click Start Exam. The timer for the test will begin once you get to the first question. Here is the first question, or, well, not the real one, but this is an example. The question itself, or the task, is up here in the upper left area. You can read this task and then do what it says. If you would like the uh, written task to be in a larger font size, you can do that by clicking over here, Font Size. Notice too that the timer is right here and it is counting down. The timer cannot be paused or stopped. Here it shows you which question you are on. If you click this button, you can go through the questions and uh, take them in a different order. In other words, you don't have to answer these questions exactly the way they are. You can click on any question to answer that one first. Here it tells you which attempt you are currently on for that question. In this task, this question task, I'm starting the first of three possible attempts. So let's see what it says. Add word art to the brochure that reads Metasport. Use the gradient fill gray style, the first option in the second row of the gallery. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is add word art. I don't need to click anywhere because it's already set up for me. So I'm going to go to the Insert tab and I'm going to click Word Art and it wants me to use the gradient fill gray style, the first option in the second row. That would be this one. If I allow the screen tip to come up just by hovering on it, it tells me the name of that choice, gradient fill gray. So if I click on that, it will enter it, and I need to type what it's supposed to be. The task says to read Medi Sport. When I finish typing, I get a message telling me whether or not I answered correctly. I did answer it correctly, so I can go on to the next question. I can click OK. Here's the next question. And so that's how the test goes. So if I wanted to change and take a different question, I can click that little icon and try something else. So I click to choose the question I want to answer right now and click Load Question. 
So now I can answer this question. When you're finished, the test will automatically submit and I believe you do have to click a button that says finish. If you don't get to finish before the time is up, the test will automatically submit for you and it will include everything that you did complete.